Hello, Isaac. This is Dr. Vicki. Today is Thursday, the 25th of August. Um, you're doing your screenshot of your journey from Get to GitHub here, and I see a couple things going on. Um, one is here where you're trying to say get branch, test branch, there isn't a test branch. There is no test branch. Okay. I don't know why you're where you're getting this word test branch. When you look over here to the far right on the it says Grimaldo in blue, that's the branch that you're in. You're in your branch, Grimaldo. The branch name is Grimaldo. So there is no test branch. Okay. And um, when you did get add on the second, you didn't put the space and period. That's why that didn't happen. And then on the third one, you did do get add space period. Well, you didn't see anything because you're not supposed to at this time. It just adds files. If you do get status after get add, it'll show you if it staged any files. And then here we, here we go again, get branch test branch. Get branch branch, get branch first branch, get branch one. I have absolutely no idea what you're doing with those commands. You don't have any branches called test branch, branch, first branch, one. It looks like here you're just trial and error trying to pop some kind of command in there until something works. Well, don't do that because if you do that, you could mess up the repo on your local desk, on your hard drive, and not even know it with all these commands that don't do anything. Um, all of the time that you've spent just throwing commands at this, you could have YouTubed it <laughs> and it would have shown you how to do it. There is no shortcuts. There's absolutely no shortcuts to learning something complex. What I can tell you is just throwing gobbledygook nonsense, like test branch, 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 all of that. That is gobbledygook. All that's doing is messing up your project. It's confusing you even more. It's putting you in a position where now we might not be able to fix this and save it to push to the main project. And most of all, it shows me that you did not know how to use Git, which we've established. Not only that, you didn't go back and try to figure it out. You're just throwing stuff at it. When you get a job in this field, every day you're going to encounter things you don't know. I still do. You don't just throw things at it. You mess up what's already there if you do. You do your research and figure out what the error messages mean and figure out how to fix it. You don't just throw gobbledygook at it. First lesson, do not just throw anything in here hoping something works. I call that slinging poop on a wall and hope something sticks. Don't do that. That does you no favors. Second of all, Please just stop. Take a breath. This shows desperation a little bit. If you've got code up here that's valid code in your client and get and get branches and whatever all of that is, um, I'm not sure what branches and get branches even is here in your Explorer folders. You've got Team Bravo, branches, client, get, get branches. I have no idea what's in all of that because I, that's not what I set up in the GitHub for you. So I'm not even sure what all of that is now. So... Shut this down. Go to file at the top of the Visual Studio code. Hit close folder. All of this will close. Take a deep breath. Go back to file at the top again. Click open folder. Okay. You'll go to team Bravo before you open the folder. Don't bring the whole team Bravo folder over here. You're only supposed to be working on your branch. You shouldn't have the whole team project over here in the first place. When you go to open it, click on Team Bravo on your computer, go down to branches, go all the way down to where it says Grimaldo, double click on that or hit open on your file finder. So you should not have the whole Team Bravo project in here. You should have the Grimaldo branch, period, because you're only working on your branch. <laughs> I can't tell what's going on here. Second, once you get your branch over here, open your terminal, immediately do get status. See what it says. See if it says you have um, changes that aren't staged. See if it says all files are 
already staged, see what it says. It'll tell you. And then do get add. Get add space period. And wait. If nothing happens and it just says get add period, that's a good thing. Then you go get commit hyphen small m as in Mary and then a message inside of quotations. Initial commits, what I usually put. Hit enter. It should commit. It should say X branches, whichever ones you showed that the status showed that you had initially were committed. Or you'll get an error message that it didn't work. But you need to get that far first. So open up just your branch and what you have in your branch. Get status. See what the status of all of your folders are. Get add space period, get commit, hyphen, small m, a message inside of quotation marks. So you've committed them. And then, and only then, can you do the git, push, origin, you, Grimaldo. Okay, because you're per person from Grimaldo. So that's what I need you to do. I need you to try that as soon as possible. And let me know how it worked. Secondly, I should not just now, middle of week four, be seeing all of this because you should have been reaching out and letting me know where you were and what help you needed all along or asking Philip or Isaiah or somebody in your group that knows how. If you're reaching out to your mentors, you're doing the wrong thing. In final group projects, you're not assigned a mentor. That is me. So you don't have an assigned mentor. You have me. So you need to reach out to me or your group. If you have issues like this, the second it comes up, that's why you're supposed to do your daily check-ins and stand-ups because you would be able to tell us and I would have known a long time ago that you still haven't been able to get this working. So do that. Complete your daily stand-up every day. Communicate with your team in the Slack channel, communicate with me. We have got to get this push up and running because I cannot see the code in the GitHub. I can't see it here. I have no idea what's in these files. And as a project manager, I absolutely have to know what's going on with the project. I need to see everyone's files. Um, about this time, everybody in a team starts getting really nervous because they have no idea how close or not they are to a successful project. Only to know that is to see what everyone's doing. So reach out to your team. I know that um, Philip knows how to do this GitHub. So reach out to Philip. Get on a quick Zoom or a quick huddle with him. Um, look up a quick tutorial. I've posted some for you. And let's get this going before we're down to a crunch and everybody's panicking. And that's not the best time to try to do something complex because it's nerve wracking. So let's get this back on track. Are you ready? Let's go.